Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be filming my back to school organization and study tips video. So if you would like to see what those are, then just keep on watching. So my first organization tip is to get everything ready the night before. So to pick out your clothes, pick out your accessories, pick out your shoes and have, it, have them all laying out, as well as to pack up your lunch and to pack up your backpack all the night before. That way in the mornings if you're running late, you don't have to worry about what you're going to wear or where a book is or where your homework is or what you're going to eat that day. It's already all organized the night before so you can just grab it and go. And then my next organization tip is to get some kind of binder. This is just the one that I have to show you and you can do like a collage or something like that on the front side of your binder if you really want to. If you don't that's totally fine too. But inside I just have these dividers and I really like the dividers with the pockets because if a teacher doesn't hole punch a paper it's not going to get lost. You can just like put it inside of the pocket. and. Then if you want to just use one big binder, I'd recommend just doing like different tabs for your different classes and then in the back just being some loose leaf paper. But I also know that some teachers require that you have individual binders. So if that's the case, then you can you can use the tabs to have like just to organize different aspects of that class or you don't have to do that at all. But that's just this is more than just general if you have like a one big binder just to use the tabs to organize your different classes. And then if you don't want to use the whole binder idea, then I would recommend doing the matching notebook and matching folder idea. And this way you can keep your write your notes in your notebook and then keep all your papers in the folder. And I'd recommend that if you don't have a locker, that way it's going to be a little bit light, lighter weight carrying around. You're not going to be carrying around as much weight. But if you have a locker, I'd highly recommend the binder idea because I think that it's going to keep you a little bit more organized than the folder and notebook. So my next organization tip is to get some kind of a, of a planner. This is just what I'm going to have to show you, but um, I think a planner is totally an essential thing to have for school because it really will keep you really organized. So my first tip for the planner is to basically draw a line down the middle of every single day and on the left hand side to write your homework and the right hand side to write what you have to do, if that's laundry, running errands at Target, cleaning the dishes, whatever it is for you, and then write down your homework. So whenever the teacher says, like, this is your homework, just take out your planner, take out a pen, and just write it down, write that in there. That way you're not trying to remember what your homework is. You already have it written down. And this, if you also have a locker, this is really going to help because then you can just pull out your planner when you're at your locker at the end of the day, and you can see, okay, I have to read such and such page for, for history, so I need to bring my history book. And that way you don't leave a book at school, or you don't leave a paper at school, and then you can't finish your homework. So this is really going to help you to not have that that problem of leaving something at school that you need to do your homework. So, and then af after you've completed something, what I like to do is I like to take like a highlighter and just highlight the completed thing that I've done and that way I can see what I did complete and what I didn't complete. And the things that I didn't complete, then I like to bring down to the next day and that way I can just complete it the next day and that way I know, okay, so I didn't get to go to Target on Monday, so I need to go to Target on Tuesday or something like that. So I'd highly recommend that. That will really help you keep you really organized. And it will also make you feel like kind of accomplished because you got, you know you got to see what you did accomplish that day. And then my last organization tip is to get some kind of file box or some kind of file folder to keep all of your papers. And once a week I would clean out your binders or your folders and then put all the excess papers in here and that way it's not weighing down your binder or your folder and you're carrying around excess papers in your backpack. So I really like this accordion style file organizer and you can just like comes with like these little tabs and you can just like put the little tabs and label all your different classes and then you can just put your papers um, in there and I would highly recommend scheduling it in your planner that once a week say Saturday afternoons I'm gonna clean out my binders and put it in my file organizer or my file box whatever works best for you so I'd highly recommend this and I got this one at Staples just in case you're wondering but you can get these at Staples, Office Depot, Target, anywhere like that so those are all my organizational tips. So now onto my studying tips so my first study tip is to use your planner and when you get your syllabus to write down all the important dates for that semester or quarter in your planner so you, when your exams are, when your projects are due, when your papers are due and then to schedule yourself around those deadlines to make sure that you meet them and then my next study tip is to study for half an hour and take a five minute break, study for another half an hour and take another five, five minute break 
and you're actually going to retain and absorb more information doing it like this than studying for a consecutive hour. And then my third study tip is to study for half your classes every single day. So I would take, after you're done with your homework, I would study for half your classes and I would just take a highlighter and highlight any important dates and any important people, any important key terms, and then just review all that information that you learned for half your classes that day in class. And this is going to help you be able to start studying right, like, immediately instead of trying to cram for the exam like the night before and you're actually going to absorb and retain more information doing it like this than trying to cram the night before because you're going to be studying a little bit at a time and another thing is if a teacher calls on you in class or you get participation points then you can raise your hand because you know the answer because you reviewed the day before and then my last study tip is kind of an optional tip if this is how you study and this is to set goals for yourself so after you know you finish your your paper you're off your paper maybe go out and buy that dress that you've been wanting or study for two hours in the morning and then hang out with your friends the after in the afternoon and it's also going to help you feel a little bit more accomplished because you got to study and then got to do something fun and that way you don't have it hanging over your head so those are all of my organization and study tips. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!